back again with a follow-up to my December TBR video. Since I, for the second time, made an actual TBR, uh, I thought I should come back and follow up. So I did read two of the books that were on my December TBR. The first book I read was Solaris by Stanislaw Lem. This was a buddy read with Nathan over at The Rambling Reviewer, and I'll have his channel link down in my description. Uh, this is uh, a very popular, well-known science fiction novel, and I didn't care for it. <laughs> this is the original translation, and the consensus seems to be that this is a poor translation of this book. And I could believe that because I didn't think it was very well, well written at all. I didn't find the dialogue between the characters very believable. I was sort of scratching my head at times because some of the dialogue just didn't seem appropriate for the situation at hand. I didn't care for the relationship between any of the characters, nor between the character and his wife. <laughs> wife. <laughs> uh, that was strange, uh, to say the least. And like I said, they just, I don't know, the, the dialogue just wasn't believable. It wasn't, it didn't feel organic to me. Uh, I also didn't like the ending of this book. It was extremely unsatisfying. So yeah, there just wasn't too much. I mean, I loved all the stuff with the alien. I really liked like I said, I liked the idea of the alien. I liked the, uh, or this entity. I liked the uh, communication attempts. And there was a lot, a lot of uh, meandering in this book. The author was trying to convey a lot of like hard science fiction style information about the entity and the planet, which would have been good except it wasn't done well. And a lot of it was being repeated and repeated throughout the book. I mean, it's like discount Hal Clement. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like he was trying to do what Hal Clement does, only it's not done well at all. And it was extremely boring and repetitive, uh, which was actually my main complaint. So yeah, I was not impressed with this book. It, it didn't, it, I only gave it two stars. Uh, however, it, this could all be because of the translation. It could be because this is a poor translation. I would be interested in trying the digital version uh, in the future sometime, uh, just to see if I see if I like it any better. Uh, then I read the other book that was on my December TVR that I actually read was The Anomaly by Michael Redker, which is a reread for me. I read this a few years ago, I think in 2019, and absolutely loved it. Gave it five stars at that time. And this time, I think I loved it even more. <laughs> Still five stars. I have 36 notes on this read of it. 36 notes on this book. 36. The first time I had, let's see, I had 14 notes the first time. So this is about a group of people who are, who make a YouTube channel and the YouTube channel is all about investigating uh, like legendary or mythological or urban legend type of artifacts, locations, etc. right? And this time they are looking for a cave and they actually find it. And it is uh, science fiction-y, science fiction light, let's say. Uh, and also it is horror at the same time. And I absolutely loved it. My favorite thing about this book is the friendship between the people who make the YouTube videos, who, who have the YouTube channel, who are responsible for this YouTube channel. Loved the friendship aspect. And I do not usually like friendship stories, but this is very much about these, this group uh, having these professional relationship, but how close they've become over time without even realizing it. And how strong that friendship is throughout the ordeal they go through in this cave. It was just wonderful. And my favorite character in this book is Ken. Ken is has a very smart alecky personality, which I absolutely love. I love that in a character. And he has a lot of uh, sort of wise things to say, you know. 
I, I just, it was just so good. I, I need, I'm going to sit down and do a video just on this book and go over, go over all of the notes I took. So yeah, it's, it's one of my favorite books. I really, really like it. If you haven't read it, I absolutely recommend this. So from here, I really diverged from my TBR. <laughs> nothing, nothing else I read was on my TBR. So something else I read was this a children's book called The Mitford Snowman, The Mitford Snowman by Jan Karen. Uh, this is all about a town who ends up, uh, everybody makes these different snowmen and like the town square. And it was very cute and it was very heartwarming. And, um, and I really enjoyed that. It was a really nice little Christmas read. Uh, another book I read was Gothicana by Runix, which is something I just read for something frivolous to read. It's, it's a young adult like romance that takes place in a college setting and it's got a very it has a very gothic feel the the love the, the main character is a female and she is a clairvoyant she has uh like some kind type of um you know connection to uh, the spirit world <laughs> and her love interest is a man who is a teacher there but he's not a real teacher He's filling in essentially, and he is actually also one of the students. She's like 22 and he's 26. So nothing inappropriate is happening at all. And he seems like a vampire to me. If this were that kind of a book, he'd be a vampire. He, you know, his clothing indicates that his personality indicates that. And she's an innocent type. You know what I mean? She's been kind of sheltered from the world. And there's potential haunting of this school because it's in this really old very large castle that's where the college is set up it's very small and it's up in some mountains and stuff where there were all these mysterious killings that happened and <laughs> i liked it i i really did like it i mean it, am i ever going to read that again or ever read anything else by this author probably not but i actually did enjoy it for what it was so if you enjoy that kind of story or are looking for that i I would recommend it. I um, also read Regifted, Ganged by the Ghosts of Christmas <laughs> by J.L. Lagoza and Vera Valentine. And that is exactly what it sounds like. It is it is an erotica short story. It was, I think it was 52 pages. <laughs> and it was so good. I just really liked it. It's seriously about this woman who is the Scrooge of the story. She is um, a high-powered executive of some sort uh, who owns this company. And she <clears throat> is heartless and greedy and all this kind of thing. And um, she's visited on Christmas Eve in her hotel by four ghosts, the Christmas ghosts, and the ghost of her dead ex-business partner. <laughs> and uh, a lot of sex ensues. And through the sex, she learns how to be more generous and, and all of that stuff, <laughs> which sounds awful. But I actually thought it was it was pretty well written and the sex scenes were not cheesy at all. The sex scenes were actually really good. The dialogue was believable and it was good. Um, and it was funny at times. And just the whole concept itself is funny. And I just really, really enjoyed it. Uh, let's see. What else did I read? Oh, the next things that I... Um, did were all audiobooks. December was just insanely busy and I just could not sit down and read as much as I wanted to. So I did end up re doing uh, several things on audio just so that I could be forwarding my reading. Um, well, I'm getting tired. <laughs> it's so late. I've already done like four videos. Uh, anyways, I wanted to continue reading, but I couldn't sit down to actually read. So, you know, you can, you can do tasks and listen to audiobooks. So that's exactly what I did. So I did The Outlaw of Gore, which is the second book in the Gorian Saga. And I really liked it. I really liked the first one. I really liked the second one. I am actually part of the way through the third one, and I am not enjoying it as much. I'm probably going to finish it, probably. But I don't think I'll read any more because <clears throat> something I noticed in the second one is the second one was getting a lot more. I don't want, I don't know if graphic is the right word, but the, you know, sexual servitude of the women is getting more, got more pronounced in the second one. 
And in the third one, it's even more pronounced. And I just, I don't know. I don't think, I, re, I know at some point this series falls off the rails because several years ago, I read what I thought was the first one in the series. And it wasn't, it turns out it was down the line somewhere. I don't know where, but it was absolutely awful. It was just ridiculous. And I did not like it at all. Uh, and then when I found out it wasn't the first one, I did read the first one. Like I said, really liked it. So I don't know. We'll see what happens with this third one, but I don't, I don't think I'll read any more uh, after the third one. Uh, another audio book I did, or actually it's a short story, is Summer Frost by Blake Crouch. Uh, that is about a man who accidentally creates a sentient AI. And the result of that, really liked that story, thought it was great. Uh, Exchange Rate by Hal Clement, which was one of my How for the Holidays reads. Uh, I really liked that one as well. I actually would like to read that one. I, I do have it. Uh, and, and, and not just rely on the audiobook. So I think I will like it more in, if I just read it. Not that I didn't like it in the audiobook, audiobook because I did. But I couldn't like stop and pause and really think about it because I was doing tasks and plus it's an audiobook and I don't always absorb audiobooks as well as when I'm actually reading. Uh, then I also did The Last Conversation, another short story by Paul Tremblay, which I liked. Uh, it didn't blow me away or anything, but you know, it was good. Uh, oh, I didn't even tell you what it was about, did I? Gosh, I need to back up. I, forgive me. I am so tired right now. So I forgot to tell you, Extreme Trade is a short story by Hal Clement. It is about these two men who are searching for their wives. Their wives have gone out on a particular mission and they lose contact with them. So their husbands get in the ship with a couple of other people and to go look for them and find out what has happened to them. Uh, and then the last conversation was about this man who wakes up he's blind and he's extremely, extremely weak. So he's obviously been very, very sick. Uh, at least that's what he's assuming or that he's been in some kind of an accident or something to that effect. And the only person he has contact with is this doctor. Uh, and you find out at the end what is going on there. And like I said, it was really good, but it, it didn't blow me away or anything. It was fine. It was a three star, you know, and then uh, finally I listened to randomize, which was another short story by Andy Weir. Loved it. That is a story about a married couple who uh, wants to rob a casino. Fabulous. Loved the ending of it. Thought it was fabulous. That was, uh, other than exchange rate, it was probably the best one of, of all of those uh, audiobooks that I read or audio short stories I read. So yeah, absolutely loved that one. Definitely highly recommend that. So yeah, that, that was my reading for December. I uh, didn't get through as much as I wanted to and definitely veered clear away from my TBR, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, I did still enjoy most of what I read. So yeah, I'll call that the end of the video.